don't start a business. When you start a business, you will require capital. And guess what? When you start a new business, a lot of surprise may come, a lot of additional expenses you have to pay. Okay? So capital may be more than what you plan and what you expect. And that will put a strain on your retirement asset. Okay? And even worse, when you start a business, you got a partner, you need to take a loan from the bank, then you end up signing personal guarantee. And if you understand how personal guarantee with the bank works, it is jointly and severally on those guarantee. Which means to say, if your company owe the bank one million, okay, and there are three shareholders, by right, you say, hey, so if something go wrong with the loan, then the bank should come after one, one third of the million from you and one third of the million from another two shareholders. But the cost of jointly and solely means that the client can ignore the two other shareholders first and come to you who has got the maybe most money and ask one million from you. And later, it's up to you to sort with your other two shareholders how to reach your loan. So don't simply, don't easily get into a business when you're retiree, even though you get very excited by the business proposal. Some more, let's put phrase it. <laughs> Nowadays, if you are a retiree, you could be 50 something, you could be 60 something, 60 something. Nowadays, the business world belongs to the young people who has got tech knowledge, who has got internet knowledge, who has got an innovative business model. So, no point to attempt that. Enjoy your retirement. If money is important to you, please remember to subscribe to my channel.